Hi, I'm Bowling Otter. And, I, and I'm Lissy Sandwich. And welcome to the BS. The Bowling Otter Show. Oh! Alright, we're back for Doki Doki Literature Club Part did you 2. See, did you see my save? Yeah, was, was there, there was a save involved? I had to move the mic over in front oh, of my face. That was, that was I know. Nice. I'm, I'm getting better. It's crafty. I'm getting better. Okay. But we're back. So we're back. But yes. uh, what we didn't realize is when we stopped last time, we had to manually save the game. So we didn't save. And we were back at the beginning. So we're just going to skip. There's a skip option, which was making it really easy. However, we got to this part where we were making With the, the poem, poem. And the yeah. words are different. Mm -hmm. So we're going we to have to pick again. new words and go from there. Because I'm sure that this is going to affect things uh, down right. the line. And we want to make sure that we get this part on here. So, right. So wait, real quick. So this is supposed to point us in the direction of one of the girls that we like, right? I guess so. Like, we were supposed to be picking words in order to... We were supposed one of them, to pick like, words the that had to, do, yeah, had to do with certain people. The other one was, like, a writer, you know, mm. that kind of thing. The other one was kind of neurotic or whatever. Okay. So, you want to go first, and then I'll go, and then you go, yeah, and then I Yeah, okay, go. let's go back and forth. Here All we right, go. Ready? Mm -hmm. So, I'm starting with Cheeks. Yeah. Cheeks. So, she jumped. Does that mean it was about her? Cheek, cheek jump? I don't know. Or was that just coincidence? Maybe it's just quinky dink. Uh, variants. Variants? Yes. No, nope, she missed that was about her. So she jumped. Okay, so now oh. we pick one for her, one for her. So we didn't even notice that last time. Are you sure they're not just jumping in general? Yep. They're yep. all kind of scooting around. That'll be sure? a little hot. I mean, jump. Yeah. Watch when you pick oh. this one. Ready? Okay. I'm going to pick, uh, hmm. Rainbow. Uh, Rainbow. Portrait. There we go. Oh, okay. I get it. All right. I see. One of them is suicide? Yeah. Jeez. Um, shopping. I think I picked that one before. Okay, so we got two. I think we have. Uh, I lost count already, so let's just go. Okay. All right, here we go. Um, special. Oh, uh, no. Uh, shiny. Shiny. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> she liked shiny. <laughs> yeah. Oh it's like oh something shiny. Uh, did we pick effulgent last time? No, or we effulgent? didn't. We went right past it. Effulgent. Let's go Effulgent. 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 Okay. It said yes. Okay. Incongruent. I remember us picking that one. We did pick oh, no, incongruent. Poof. Poof. Pick poof. <laughs> That's way more important. All right. Uh, Papa. Let's pick. Yeah. Uh, it's that's odd. a little weird, actually. Yeah. Um, odd. Uh, adventure. Uh, yeah. I will go with philosophy. Philosophy. Yeah. Okay. Actually, when we pick these, we should try to we should try to predict who they're gonna be pertaining yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. So let's try um, uh, boop. Boop. That could be her. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh no, I was gonna say the cupcake one. one. Okay. The cupcake girl. Okay. Okay. Um, kill. I remember we. Is that gonna be her kill. too? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um. Uh, melody. That was over, her too. Over kitty. All right. All right. Nightgown. Nightgown. Her too. <gasps> okay. So we're going hardcore there I for guess her. So. I guess so. Okay. Uh, Scars. Yeah. I okay. guess. Uh, Jumpy. Landscape. Oh. oh. <laughs> She's landscape. Okay. Do they um, mean landscape like a picture or landscaping like like smoothing out a. a a section of dirt. Maybe and she's actually some landscaping. Lawn. Yeah, this exactly. is the front of somebody's house. <laughs> she's she's pouring some mulch. Yeah. She's she's smoothing it out. She's planting some flowers. Yeah, finding things um, that are appropriate in the amount of light. Yeah. Yes. Chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah, mate. Her again. Okay. Uh, kawaii. Oh. I remember that before. Hmm. Pout. How about um. Extraordinary. Extraordinary! Yeah, I'm okay. gonna stay optimistic. Okay. Uh, parfait. Yeah, there man! <laughs> um, Last one. Playground. Okay, well, we went super for her. We did, and unbeknownst to us, too. Ah. Okay, so which one was this? You were Monica, so this was oh, the... Oh, we're Sergeant No. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Monica, right? Okay, oh, we can skip from here, right? Or is this gonna change from now on? No, this is different now, I okay. maybe. Okay. Depending on what was in our poem. Okay. Okay. That's you. So that's me. Yes. All right. I forget what her voice was. Oh, I remember. Hi again, Sergeant Nub. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha 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 ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. Safe. I was the last to come <laughs> in, so everyone else is already hanging out. I'm not dealing Safe. with this again. There we go. Oh, was there? There was an auto button, wasn't there? Yeah, there was, I thought. What does that mean? What does auto mean? 
We'll do it. You just saved. What happened? Oh, no. Is it going to automatically do things for me? Oh, maybe. Yeah, don't do it's that. Okay. Don't do that. Confused. Okay. Here we go. Oh, here we oh, go. That's me. Thanks for keeping your promise, Sergeant Nub. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, wait, was this me? Was that me too? Yeah, I think this one was me. Oh, come on! Like, he deserves any slack! Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too! I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Oh. Natsuki, oh no. you on. certainly have a... What? I just realized all of our choices tended towards her, right? Oh, man. Do I have to do that voice the whole freaking time? I hope it's so. It's going to be some really weird... Oh, all right. It's going to be weird. You're going to be in a relationship with yourself. <laughs> You're going to have, like, dreams and stuff. <laughs> oh, Ooh. my God. Okay. All right. Anyway, you continue. Anyway. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Hold on. I want to see how they say it. Is it manga or manga? Yeah, good question. Everyone I've, is, uh, I've heard both. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going to keep moving on. I know there's a lot to go here. It is mag manga. Magna. Nor manga. Wait, it can be written as da, da, da. how to pronounce it. Here we go. Manga. 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 Got All right. It. All right. Manga. manga. There All we right. go. Learned. Now you're Natsuki. I already did that. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Oh. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Oh. That's you. Oh. Don't worry, guys. Sergeant Nub always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. <laughs> it's Master Binub! Sergeant Nub gives it his best! <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, <laughs> he helps me with busy work without me even asking. If I had a soundboard right here, there would have been air horn. <laughs> <laughs> the stripping names are turning into like sentences. Like work. cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Oh. Is that so? Eh, eh, eh. Did the little fingers? <laughs> that's right. You two are really good friends, aren't you? <laughs> I might be a little jealous. Oh my god. How come you and Sergeant Nub can become good friends too? Uh. Um, Sayori. <laughs> As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know. W wait, Sayori. Eh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sayori made it sound like it's a big deal when it's really not. I'm getting confused. Uh, <laughs> what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. That's hard, going back and forth. Yeah. Two different voices. Move! <clears throat> hey, don't it. worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. Oh my god. What It'll make it? me happy no matter what. This is going to be poor and it's her underwear. <laughs> is, is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if, if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and oh. pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. Oh, that's nice. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, book and chill, Netflix and chill, <laughs> book and discuss chill. it book if club you and chill. wanted. Yeah, right? The, this is, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? Uh-oh. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, oh despite my God. me not reading What is much. it? It's called I Want Your Ween It. <laughs> Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. What is it? Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. Is she insulting our intelligence? She's like, it's sure it's it'll keep your You're attention. Dumb, you read it this, at your you own pace. You might like this one, because, you know, dumb people like this one. And then he, and then he's like, why is she so accidentally cute? You know? <laughs> I look forward to hearing what you think. 
Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. Okay. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Alrighty. Yori's face is already buried in a book. Do we all just read? I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Might be looking into it a little bit. Meanwhile, bad. Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Just like throwing things. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Oh, God, here we go. You looking for something in there? Good luck. Freaking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point of keeping your collection organized if someone else is just going to mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh... Sometimes, manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure <laughs> out where the other person stands. That's fair. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I, I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst the stack of various books in the side of one of the shelves. Why do I feel like somebody's going to be really angry that I'm giving this voice to Natsuki? Somebody like is really like gonna be like, Should I you, like Natsuki, you shouldn't give gets, that voice. Maybe. Oh my god, Bullygon! Bull this is not serious! Bullygon, how dare you! If, if it gets serious, yeah. we'll dial it back. I'll, I'll have to try to find a medium voice Because we can't be like, I get depressed sometimes. <laughs> now it's you Yuri's know? voice. Oh, that's right, that's Yuri's. You can't be like, yeah, sometimes I get depressed! <laughs> and I think really horrible things! <laughs> and then I go and I steal, and I and I, and I I torture animals! Yeah, well, we're still like, oh know where this is going, so like, maybe, maybe she dies, and now I we know. don't have to worry oh about God. it anymore. <laughs> so, alright, anyway. Yeah. Keep going. That's terrible! Curious. Maybe I she'll it die, so we don't have to worry about being uncomfortable. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> There it is! <laughs> Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume s slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better! Seeing a box set with one book's mixing is probably the most irritating sight in the world! I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait girls? Is that one of the things <laughs> you the, chose? Was, we definitely picked that. Uh oh. Parfait girls? <laughs> It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic, or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can go do it through the glass of that door! She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was a tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Sergeant Thumb. <laughs> Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact... Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why! Uh oh. She shoves the book right into my hands. Is this gonna be a metaphor for the game? Maybe. <sighs> ah! I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. Okay. Just like this. It's exceedingly mo. Mo? I don't know what that means. Don't just stand there! Is something whooshing? Uwa. Mo? I don't know. What's up, Mo? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Oh, why's that? Ah, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Like this. Like this. Then don't just say that! You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry! I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book! You better make up your mind, son. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. You know what? I think I do not want to be in a relationship with this one. <laughs> I think she's too like she's like picking a fight. But maybe it's not a gonna lot. be. Maybe the choices are gonna be in the form like the poem thing was a choice. That was the first time we yeah. had a choice. So uh, like with the parfait girls, we yeah. picked parfait. Yeah. So I wonder if these words it's like kind of we ambiguous. just made a bunch of choices. Yeah. We and did. we don't know where it's gonna and go. It's gonna fall out a certain way. Yeah. So like yeah. the words we chose are gonna start being in the story. If so, that's really cool. Yeah. If it's just from a chosen list of words. That's what that I felt like was gonna be happening when we were doing it. I just didn't really know how that would change. 
change my approach to it. Yeah. Because we don't know what any of them mean. Yeah, And we're yeah. going to find out. So it's like, it's not really an intentful choice. Right. You're just kind of picking something. Right. And we picked 20 of them. Yeah. So I don't know if all 20 of them matter. Yeah, Maybe yeah. they do, but I guess we'll find out. But if that's the case, then we should get on the best. Mm-hmm. With because we had a really like pleasant interaction just there with Yuri, like that yes. conversation went well. Yeah. This one is like awkward so and far, like weird, yeah. so maybe we didn't like fare very well with or her maybe she's by the words we picked. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I feel like she wasn't like this before. Really? Oh, yeah. she was neurotic as hell. Really? Yeah, remember yeah she, she was, was kind of. Remember they said yeah. she itched up like she was gonna say something and then she decided not. Was to that her? Yeah. Oh, of course not. I can't remember. But yeah, the, I feel like she's too combative. I don't want to be in a relationship with her. Anymore. Okay. We'll yeah. see how it goes. She, she's giving me the willies, which is like it's how you said it. We'll see if we can. Even, you know, if, it's if like that's even no. where this is going. This because now the whole don't judge a book by its cover thing. Four girls like making anime poses on the Got cover it. Yes. and like so it's obviously it the game. It could be very good. Yes. Okay. okay. I can feel her peering Moving over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I've read the beginning? Oh. Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Mm. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, <laughs> to no, I am, but nothing's <laughs> really happened yet. So I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Oh, boy. Typical slice of life affair. Oh. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. <laughs> I think you weren't much of a reader. Jeez. So, That's a good point. <laughs> what should I expect from this? Is it going to be a plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. But that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they get into all their backstories and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it good. There's so many touching parts. Ah, oh, is that so? Sounds like you really know what you're talking so about. So many touching parts? Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> hey, what? So many touching What's parts. What's that supposed to be? Oh, uh, 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 Natsuki gives me a little shove. I just meant that I haven't yet seen you at your full power. What does that mean? <laughs> good save. I guess. Ah, oh, this chapter seems like it's about baking. Full power. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? <laughs> well, Natsuki pauses for a moment as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't. I was just curious. Why should you enjoy baking too, right? Uh oh. That's just a coincidence. Oh. I just have to get the baking around the same time I got this manga. Oh, really? Like, I would ever get it anything because it's not a manga. I feel bad for anyone that impressionable. <laughs> Oh Definitely gosh. not a coincidence. Jeez. I guess that explains Natsuki's, in Natsuki's interest in baking. <gasps> Still, all the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's <sighs> definitely one of the better ones. I love baking! Not to mention she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? <laughs> we read off for a few, oh, we read off for a few more minutes. I finished a couple chapters. What's this, this face point. she's making? <laughs> Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not! <laughs> Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. Oh. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't? Um, that's not. Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. <laughs> ah, sorry. I like the quiet, like... Hmm. <laughs> like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga's for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Eh? You still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ooh! Oh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge. Much, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. Cheapers. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. Oh my god. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. Really? At least it's safe here in the club room. Jeez. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Oh. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off at the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Reading yet? Well, it's not <laughs> like reading yet. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? 
Oh, 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 have we gotten that before? Oh, oh. <laughs> just like, eh. Yeah, maybe so. that's what that is. It's like legato. Eh. Yeah, right. Like going right by. <laughs> the dash. She's like, eh. There you go. All right. Ah ha ha. Hee hee. Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot that happened. Oh. Oh, Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Oh. Minori is my favorite character. Her hand slides onto yours. Oh. And suddenly, they're holding hands. Oh, boy. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Hey! <laughs> Spoilers! Ooh. Ooh. I shouldn't be talking about that <laughs> yet. Two U's? Maybe that's what that was. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Just finish this jacket. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. Why does it sound like Christmas music? It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom it's a rare experience, the thought makes me smile a little to myself. There you go. Okay. Okay, everyone! Eh? Are you all ready with today's poems? Oh, here we go. This is what I was wondering about. Okay. If this was if we were ever gonna read them. Yeah. Okay. Oh, come on! Could your time be any worse? Sorry. <laughs> I just need to make sure we have enough time. What is this position? <laughs> Though you do look pretty cozy over there. Ah ha ha! Eh! Ah ha! <laughs> Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily glides herself a good 12 inches away from me. Slides. Oh. Alright! Guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Oh uh, yeah, but... Monica just said... Don't be dumb. Whoa! Just take it home with you. Oh, <gasps> uh, is it really all right? Is that really all right? I say that mostly because I really didn't plan on using ha! my spare time to read this. Well, of course. Uh -oh. It would take forever to finish it if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. By tomorrow? I only got part way through the volume so far. Oh my god. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Okay. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? Oh my gosh, that's very true. <laughs> All that's right very, then. Very true. I stand up. Wait, wait, wait. Safe. Yes. What I happened? Just, I hit a button. I didn't read it. Safe. <laughs> what the hell happened? That's it. <laughs> All right. Okay. 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 I returned to where I put my stuff and carefully slipped the book oh, into man. my bag. We're going to have to pick which book to read. You think so? And it'll just get like more and more narrowed down. Okay. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. yeah. My relaxation ends. Oh, boy. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. <gasps> I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? Was that me? Yes. I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically oh, no. pull out their poems. Oh, this have to be me. <laughs> Doing both of them? There you go. Now it's your turn. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. Oh. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Oh. Nasuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. It, oh. would, it would stress me out so much to have to write a poem a serious poem and then read it in front of a class oh yeah or read it in front of a club yeah. i can't that would probably be maybe in like my top 10 most stressful especially, social situations that i could think of especially if they told you to write the poem and they didn't tell you you were going to have to read it in front of the class oh no so the poem was done oh and you God. don't even know what it's about yet oh you know and like it could have been something very personal <sighs> anyway okay who should okay. you show your poem to yeah, first so who should we pick this well, is a choice. This we've been is one hanging of our first out with uh, Natsuki mm -hmm. for a I while. Feel like, I feel like maybe Natsuki. Yeah. Because she showed us a book. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like a turn of the favor. Well, so did Yuri. Yuri did too. Yeah. And Yuri did first. Mm hmm. 
And but Monica, we just like, spent like a good bit of time. Sayori is one of our like best friends, though. Why don't we show Sayori? Yeah, that makes more sense. She brought us in. Yeah, totally. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. She's my good friend, after all. Here we go. Is that me again? Yeah. This is a good poem, Sergeant Nub. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? What does that mean? <laughs> eh, 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 I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you just, that I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the oh. fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Sergeant Nub. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? <laughs> I love how this name's going to be Sergeant Nub forever. Oh, so great. They're going to be like, I love you, Sergeant Nub. <laughs> Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. My brain is a leap. Do you know when that happens? When you're starting to read and your brain is... This happens when I read all the time. My brain starts popping forward in the story. Yeah. Like, far, far ahead. And that's starting to happen. Starting to, like, make predictions? You start to, yeah. like... Uh, does anybody else do this? Yeah. Where you start to actually kind of zone out on what you're currently reading. Yeah. You're still taking it in, but maybe, like, 60% of your attention is on it, and the other 40% is just kind of going off in La La Land. I have, I have trouble because the other... I, I have that all the time, but the going off in La La Land has nothing to do with the story. Really? Yeah, I'm just somewhere else, and then I have to read everything over again. Really? Yeah, that's that's my thing. Yeah, so. I got it. He's not much of a reader, but you really you do it a I lot. I try. Yeah, do, he does. He tries a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I have a hard but time focusing. It, no, like, it's it just, good. It just keeps kind of like I think with the with technology nowadays and everything, where everybody's just got this really short attention span. It's just always been something. I think it's something know. that happens. Yeah, nowadays, I don't. I wouldn't take it too personal. That's anyway, okay. that's okay. Yeah. That will be my way of thanking you. All right, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Now you'll read my poem too, right? It's going to be something amazing, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Eh, eh, eh. We'll see about that. Oh. Oh, here we go. Okay. All right, here, I will go. Okay. Ready. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me? To wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> I love the ending got me right here. Especially that I want breakfast. I want breakfast, yeah. I always want like, breakfast. Man. You always want breakfast. Yes, I do. All the time. Yes. All the time. Maddie All loves right. breakfast. Click outside the pub and continue. If it's available, you usually go for it. Yes, for any, any yeah. meal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Breakfast You're is on the like, menu. Breakfast. I'm taking it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. <laughs> well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. <laughs> really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I See, there breakfast. it is. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget doing it again. <laughs> and I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Okay. Oh, now what? Okay, so... Uh, all right, well, I would say either 
Natsuki or Yori? We haven't talked to Monica really yet this morning. Uh, I feel like maybe Yori because Yori um, gave us that book first. But we just sat down with a long period of time with Natsuki, though. Yeah, but like we, we like, like just spent an hour with Natsuki. We did, yeah. Was it that long? But to tell you the truth, I think I'd rather pick Yuri first anyway. Okay. Just because if they're paying attention to who we go to one at a time like this, I think they are. I would that Suki herself. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's like. All right, go to Yuri. Go to Yuri. <laughs> you you zoned me out. <laughs> I zoned you out. I was listening to what you're saying. I just wanted to be doing this at the same time. Anyway, Yuri. <laughs> You're like ding 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 ding. It's not funny. Mm. <laughs> yeah, right. You research the poem. Mm. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh, so sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Really? Uh, um. <laughs> this happens to be all the time. <laughs> It's fine, it's don't force yourself. Fine. Don't, oh, oh, okay. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. She's going to be like, it's beautiful. The depths. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> this is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Oh! <laughs> oh, so it's that bad. <laughs> no! Did I just raise my voice? <laughs> uh, oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes oh and we couldn't have gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. That's fair. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. All right. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. Oh. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds a train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Wow. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Oh. Of course, that's not something you could be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. Wow. That's very <laughs> profound. Yes. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Uh oh! Oh, you are you are you talking smack? Oh 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 oh! This gossip time. Shade. Bias? Shade. How? Uh um. Well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself or to me or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Oh uh, my god! You got this one. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Whoa! Deep. It's all her standing under a streetlight. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. Huh. Huh. Yeah, it's actually kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. I was like, okay. I, I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. Of course, it's like all what? curly and beautiful. I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah, uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Oh. Eh? 
<laughs> That's a relief. <laughs> also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Oh, she's like, like Oedipus. Not at all. <laughs> I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. <laughs> something easy to digest, I suppose. She thinks we're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know what? That's the other thing. If we get in a relationship with her, it's going to be like she feels like she's so intellectually superior. Yeah, yeah. You know, and just like, oh, this is too hard for you to understand. Yeah. Dear. It's like, no, thank you. Yeah. No, That's thank some crap you. Right there. That drives me nuts if somebody yeah. thinks you aren't as smart as you are. Yeah. People talking down to other people drives me nuts. And it's yeah, like, oh terrible. my gosh, give me a break. Okay. Right, here we go. Moving on. Are you, are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> actually, actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Sergeant Nub. If you weren't an idiot, you probably would have figured yeah, that right? out. Yeah, <laughs> right! Really? I must have totally missed the point. Oh, dear. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. <laughs> and soon to be left with nothing. That's, That's a lot oh. more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, uh... Natsuki re re rereads my poem. N never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Oh, then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I remember how I said I wanted to read your poems. That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Oh. <laughs> well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha! Well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And he went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it? Compliment. Erk. Erk. Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. You're so. You just. You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Oh. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Gah, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Okay. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. <laughs> okay. Okay, yes. Yeah. I told you you weren't going to like it. I thought it was nice. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. We should be like, stink to baking. <laughs> Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because oh everyone God. in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like at this poem. Uh -huh. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. <laughs> Helps bring out the feeling of the last line. So you did. I guess I'm. I guess more went into it than I had realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. 
didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? You know what they're telling you? The Lord! The Lord! They gave me all the punch, you Lord! Yep, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Good for you. That's nice. That's fair. That's fair. And Monica! And Monica's last. She's gonna be like, you suck, Sergeant Nub. <laughs> Hi, Sergeant Nub. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. Yeah, right? I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Sergeant Nub. <laughs> We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's sort of that barrier we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Uh oh. Ooh. I like it, Sergeant Nub. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no! It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. Oh, so she's gonna uh... think we like Natsuki. And she's a good writer, too. So, take that as a compliment? Ha ha ha! Ha Quick one, if you say so. Quick one, yeah. Yep! By any chance, have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? Hey. I love Shel Silverstein. Hey. <laughs> so good. Maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. Oh my gosh, how good is Shel Silverstein? Yeah, he's right good. Right in the attic and where the sidewalk ends and the giving tree. Yeah, he's super good. So good. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. She's the nicest so far. She totally is. So don't well, force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. But... Sayori's super nice, too. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ha 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 don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Although she's kind of coming off like our boss. You think so? You know, like an authority figure. Well, yeah. You know, she's always coming off like a teacher. Hmm. Well, know? everyone is to some degree here. That's true. Like, everyone's kind of teaching them what they think of poetry in their own way, you true. know? True, true. Okay. Hole in wall. Is my strip beneath? <laughs> it couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. Ooh, interesting. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. Whoop. I, I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Yo! <laughs> this is actually like good poetry. This is interesting. Okay. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. 
Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, yeah, I want to know that too. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's coming on strongly. Kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway. So she has some sort of secret we're gonna get, like... Yeah. Okay. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. Hmm. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Oh, my finger was going the wrong way. <laughs> like, phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. Yes. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets uh -oh. of paper, sharing oh. their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. Oh gosh, cause she's condescending! <laughs> What's this language? <gasps> oh my god, oh. Hey? <laughs> oh, um, oh. did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Oh, with her curly handwriting? Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. <gasps> cute! Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? Wait, hers was like the eagles can fly? Yeah. Okay. That's about it. Yeah. 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 It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How could that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Oh my gosh, she's so combative. Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Then why would you need suggestions if they liked it? Sayori liked it. And Sergeant Dub did, too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Oof. Which I haven't yet. <laughs> <laughs> and Sergeant Nub liked my poem, too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Uh-oh. Oh! oh! I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri! Uh, A? That's not what I... You... You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Fight! <laughs> Maybe you're just jealous that Sergeant Nub appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Oh my god, they're gonna be like, Peck! <laughs> <laughs> and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you just that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. <laughs> is that me again? Yes. That's me. Uh, um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Sergeant Nub started showing up. <laughs> N-Natsuki! 
Um, Natsuki, that's a little. This doesn't involve you. you. Oh. Oh, that was, that was both that's of both us. of us. It's together. Okay. We're together. Okay. This, this, this doesn't, doesn't involve, involve you. Involve you. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't like fighting guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Sergeant Nub, she she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out of the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Sergeant Nub. This is getting ugly. <laughs> well, wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Sergeant Nub? Are you about to pick? Um... Well, well. <laughs> Oh my god How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing But whoever, whomever I agree with They'll probably think more highly of me Aww Help me say Ori <laughs> I kind of I, I, I would say help me say Ori I think I do, I think I want to yeah. So of course it's going to be Natsuki Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words ahead of my mouth So instead I turn to Yuri Yuri Oh, it's you. <laughs> but Yuri's expression is so, defen so, so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. <laughs> Sayori! Eh! Yeah! Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. <laughs> How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Sergeant Nub. Oh, well that's her problem! It isn't about her! I... I agree. Why'd the music stop? Yeah, this is serious. It is. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's big. She would never. It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why, exactly why nobody likes... Oh, wait. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I I just want everyone to get along and be happy. There's guitar now? <laughs> oh, that's kind of <laughs> This is nice. a happy Sayori music. Yeah. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? <laughs> but because Well Also Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. <laughs> Big and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Sayori Sayori stands up triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri oh, rushes she off. She just... Bam! <laughs> Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I could organize things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah. It's not like I could blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. <laughs> well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. <laughs> I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. Okay. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Oh, Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to nod. Such oh. a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. Mm. 
If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Oh. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? Was that me? That is me. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. I still don't know who I am. <laughs> well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Sergeant Nub, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learned something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, <laughs> I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With uh -oh. any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Yes. Sergeant Nub, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. Bye. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Can't really say it. Double negative. Sayori, about what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen yeah. often? I want to know that too. No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. Ooh, we brought it out of them. You see that? Ah, yes. We're, we're getting everybody all mixed up. We're getting up. them emotional. That's right. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Whew! You know, Sergeant Nub, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. In the club. In the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Sigh. This is every day. This it looks like Sayori still hasn't day? caught up with the kind of situation I'm in. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> okay. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Oh my gosh. All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay, guys, that's the end of episode two Woo. of Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm still not really sure where this is going. Where, uh, yeah, where can this go? Like, it's setting up some interesting situations. It's establishing the characters really well. Yeah. Like, I feel like I'm getting to know everybody. Right, little by little through yeah. these interactions. We're yeah. kind of getting a better feel of everything. Yeah, so it's, and what it's everybody's I'm getting about. interested, and suddenly I'm, like, a little bit invested in what's going on with some of the characters. Yeah. I'm liking some characters more than others. Yeah. Like, I'm realizing that Monica seems to be, like, the most put-together person. Yes. But... Sayori is like, not only is she like very nice and very good friends, but like she appears to bring out a really good side of yeah. like Sergeant Nub. So like right, she's right. a healthy relationship kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, for sure. So I don't know. It's I think my vote might be either Sayori or Monica. Yeah, I think between the two of them. Mm -hmm. But then I feel like it's going to get all turned on its head. It is. And probably. none of is going to apply and we're not going to make yep. a choice at all or something. I don't know. Yep, yep, yep. So I, I'm trying to still keep like ready for like whatever's <sighs> going to happen here because people have been so freaked out over this thing. Yeah, totally, totally. Okay. Well, guys, mm -hmm. we'll see you in the next one. Yay. And if you like this video, uh -huh. please support us on Patreon. Click like, share, and subscribe. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks, bye. Bye. I thought you said he is a hero. He says, well, Keanu, this is a pretty open <laughs> show, Keys. <laughs> I know you did it. We've got the knife you used to kill the victim. It's got your fingerprints on it. And blood. <gasps> and your spit. <laughs> and your semen. <laughs> We've got three witnesses who watch you do it.